Hey there, it's Tom Corsonol's number one best-selling author of the Kindle Publishing Bible series. And right now in this video, I'm going to answer probably the most common question I get from authors, which is, how do I sell more books? And, you know, I, I've tried to answer that question in so many different ways, with all different strategies, um, you know, different marketing techniques that you can use. And, and I noticed that a lot of authors, although they, they tended to use those strategies somewhat, they don't really understand the underlying fundamentals of success when it comes to selling more books and really being a successful author in general. And what I mean by that is you can have all the tactics and all the strategies in the world for marketing and, and the best offer and the best product in the world. But if you don't understand the underlying fundamentals of success, then chances are you're not really going to apply those strategies as optimally as you could. You're not going to go out there and learn the new strategies as things change. And things are changing quicker than ever. I mean, look at the publishing industry now. It's all about ebooks now. I mean, yeah, there's $4 billion in ebook sales right now a year in the United States and $10 billion in paperback sales. But all the growth is in ebook sales and a little bit in audiobook sales. But the, really, the focus and growth right now is on ebooks, and, and the strategies with ebooks are changing. I mean, every month there's a new update with Amazon. Every, every month things are changing. And you have to be on top of these changes and you have to be positioning yourself ahead of the curve. And the, the way that you do this is by focusing on why. Why do you want to become a successful author? Why do you want to sell more books? Why do you want writing to be your career? And you really have to have a strong why because once you have the why figured out, once you know why you're getting up every morning writing books, why you're staying up late, why you're spending all this time on marketing, once you know why, the how becomes easy. It, it, it's just, it's like effortless. It just happens. But if all you know is the how, you know the techniques and the tactics and the strategies, but you don't really know why, then you're not going to have the persistence to stick in there year after year and really become a successful author. Because what's going to happen is you're going to try a few things here, you're going to dabble here and there, maybe you'll make a few hundred bucks or a few thousand bucks if you're lucky, and then you're going to quit. You know That's the number one reason authors fail, it's the number one reason anyone on earth, any human being has ever failed at anything. The number one reason is because they give up before they become successful. And the reason people give up is they don't know why they're doing what they're doing. They don't have a strong purpose behind them. So if you find your purpose first and foremost, the rest of the stuff will take care of itself. I mean, just look at... At looking back on my story, you know, I, I wrote my first book at age 19 and it took me six years of studying to figure out how to get it published. I eventually self-published, how to market my books, how to sell thousands of books. It took me six years to figure all this stuff out. And it's not just like six years of, uh, you know, watching TV or playing computer games. I'm talking about six years of reading like 300 books a year. I read over 2,000 books uh, since, I was 18, since I was 18 years old. And... and you know, studying, and most of those books were on business and marketing and publishing and authorship and writing. And I studied so much. And the reason I was willing to study that much, which for many people seems ridiculous, is because I had a strong why. I knew my purpose. I wanted to get my message out there and change the world and make a difference in the world. That's why I got up every morning and read new books and bought more books and studied and studied and studied. Is because I was investing in myself. I knew that the only way I could guarantee my success was to invest in myself. And the best way to do that is reading books. And of course, watching videos and now with the internet, we have so many other ways to learn as well. But investing in yourself is the number one investment you can, you can make. You can never fail with that investment. There will never be a negative return on investment in yourself. It will always be positive. No matter how much you spend on yourself, if it's an investment in yourself, it's going to pay long-term dividends. And so... But the reason that I was willing to do that was because I, I understood why. And I want you to right now invest in yourself and find out why. Why are you doing what you're doing? What is your purpose? What is your mission in life? Why do you get up every morning and write your books? Why do you work on marketing your books? Why do you even care? Why are you watching this video right now? What is it that you really want with your life? And most of us, we, we think we know what we want and we have these ideas and dreams floating around our minds, but we don't write them down. We don't set goals. We don't have a journal. And I want you to to change that. You know, the, the most successful people in the world, they have written goals, they have journals, they have notebooks where they jot down the information so that they can learn and grow and constantly progress. So I want you to do that right now. Pause this video, go grab a notebook, go grab a journal, grab a pen, and start taking notes. Start improving your life. You know, that's one habit I developed around age 19 after Jim Rohn told me, you know, get a journal, always take notes, always have your journal with you. 
And since I've been doing that, my life has improved every day. I'm always learning new things. I've always got new ideas. It's because I, I'm, I'm concentrating on that. I'm focused on learning. I'm focused on growing. And I've got my notebook there to capture ideas with me. You know, so many times, you know, you'll be out at dinner with some friends and you've got this great idea for a new book or it's a great idea for a new marketing strategy. And if you don't write that down and, and jot that down, you're going to forget about it. And the next day, you don't even remember that idea and you've just lost a huge opportunity there. So take advantage of every single opportunity you have for growth and learning. So right now, now that you've got your notebook, I want you to write down, why am I an author? Why do I want to become a best-selling author? Why do you want to become a best-selling author? Why do you want your career to be an, as being an author? Why do you want to earn a full-time income as an author? What are your goals? What is your in income goals for being an author? How many books do you want to sell? How many lives do you want to change? Why do you write about what you write about? You know, what, what do you think readers get from reading your book? What, what kind of a difference will your books make in the world, you know, a year from now, 10 years from now, 100 years from now? What kind of difference will your books make? What kind of difference will your life make in the world? And ask these questions. You know, there's so many more questions you can ask about your purpose. What is my purpose in life? Why am I here? Why am I doing what I'm doing? You know, if I could, if, if you had, you know, $10 million dollars, all the money in the world, all the time in the world, what would you do? You know, if, if you wouldn't still be writing with $10 million and all the time in the world, then you probably shouldn't be an author because, you know, there's something else that you're here that you're meant to do on this earth if, if that's not really what you want to do, what you enjoy doing, what you love doing. If you don't love doing it, you know, why do it? Life is so short. Focus on what you really want to do with your life. You know, focus on the why. You know, so many people, they, they fail at things because they're always just going from one opportunity to another and they're never really focused on what their purpose is in life. What is your mission in life? If you find your purpose and your mission in life, I guarantee you it's, it's not going to feel like work anymore. Yeah, there's going to be challenges and struggles and you're going to get knocked down. You're going to have to get back up. There's going to be always tough days for all of us. But when you have that purpose, that mission that's so clear that drives you, you will get up every day. You're inspired to work and it, it's just fun. It's, it becomes effortless. It becomes fun. There's always struggles, but you know, you never doubt it when, when you're when you're inspired every every morning to get up and write and become an author. You know, it, it's just easy. It, it's fun. I mean, it's just this feeling that you get. It's hard to explain, but that only really comes from finding what your purpose is. And, and, and for me, it came from from journaling, from answering these questions in my notebook, really spending some time thinking about this. So take these questions now that you've written in your notebook. Go go into a, your private place, whether it's your office, your studio, your bedroom, somewhere totally private, totally secluded. Lock the door, turn off your phone, turn off your computer, turn everything off. Just sit with your notebook and honestly ask yourself these questions. Quiet your mind and just write whatever comes to mind, whatever flows from your heart. Put it on paper. Answer these questions about why you're here, and what your purpose is. And when you do that, you'll find your purpose and maybe... Maybe it won't come instantly, maybe it won't come right away, but you'll start to gain more clarity. You know, spend, invest as much time in yourself as it takes. You know, so many of us, we distract ourselves all the time with TV or computer games or, or whatever it is that we distract ourselves with. And we're so busy, you know, we get up every morning, we go to work, we come home, we watch TV, you know, we have a conversation on the phone and we go to bed and we repeat the same cycle over and over and over and over and over. And we never have time to sit down and reflect about our life and, and to ponder these, you know, People call these big questions of life or huge questions, but they're important questions that we have to know if we want to live an inspired life, if we want to live a purpose-filled life. You've got to know, why are you here? What are you do why are you doing what you're doing? So invest however much time it takes. If it takes 15 minutes, 15 days, 15 years, who cares? It's worth it. You know, there's nothing more important in life, in my opinion, than finding out why you're here and, and living an inspired life every day. So invest whatever time it takes to do that answer those questions honestly and once you've done that once you've got your purpose in life then come back and watch and learn about the strategies and the tactics behind marketing and the strategies for writing and being more productive and when you come from that place where you know this is your purpose where you know this is your mission where there's no more doubt in your mind then what happens is when you watch a video or you learn an idea wherever you learn it from on, on how to be more productive how to become a better writer how to sell more books Every time you find an idea that can even remotely help you do that and accomplish your mission in life, you automatically focus on it. You get your journal out right away, you, you jot that down, you take notes. As soon as you get home, you start applying that information. And that's the difference between people who are successful, between people who sell millions or thousands of books and people who don't sell anything. The difference is 
people who sell a lot are focused on that. That's their value. They value that. Every day they get up, they're thinking about that. They're passionate about that. That's their purpose here. And when you're so clear on your purpose, all those strategies just fall into place. You'll find the information. You can watch all these videos on YouTube. You can watch the video training courses. You can read my ebooks on publishing. Read all the strategies you want. But until you start applying them consistently and start improving upon the strategies and start coming up with your own ideas and jotting down every idea you come up with in your journal and you're always striving to improve, until you're at that level, it's going to be a struggle. It's going to be a challenge because you're just not, you just don't have that inner drive to keep going. You're motivated by some outside force. Maybe you want to make money. Maybe you want to pay your bills. Maybe your dad was a great writer and he thought you should be a writer too. Whatever it is, when we succumb to these outside pressures in life, we miss out on that inner on that inner focus and inner drive. And, and that's why we're not successful. Uh, we don't feel successful because we're not living up to our full potential. We're not living our real purpose in life. And whatever your purpose is, go out there with gusto, you know, find it, focus on it, and live every day inspired. And if, whether it's to be an author or not, it doesn't matter. You know, it, it, there's there's no right or wrong about what your purpose is in life. When you find the right purpose for you, you'll just know it's right in your heart and you'll do the right things and, and everything will work out just fine. So you'll find the information that you need when you're on purpose, when you're focused on mission. So I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you have any questions, comments, please post in the video below. And, uh, and I can't wait to hear more. And, and please share, you know, what is your purpose in life? What What is this video inspired uh, in you, what do you see as the purpose of your life now, and, and what are you working on, and how will your books make a difference in the world? Okay, talk soon. Take care.